Hi, I'm going to talk this afternoon about Jinshin Jetsu Eastern Acupressure. I've been, like you, uh, working through all kinds of challenges over the last little while here. And yesterday I was frustrated. I was trying to be a parent to somebody who didn't want to do homeschool. And I really, really today was left thinking, i got to do that better. Um, I got, want to open my heart and find compassion. I want to find a way of dissolving the frustration. I want to let go of the fear that I have that I'm not able to do it or that somehow if we don't do it, it's going to be colossally unfortunate. I want to be able to harmonize and unify within. So this is what I'm going to do to tackle it, and I'm just here to share it with you in case you've had a moment or two frustrated trying to get the homeschool thing happening or any other time you've been feeling frustrated and you just want to clear that anger. Um, this might be one way of doing it. Jinjin Jutsu as a foundational tool offers um, ideas and support for self-care, and that's really how I got into this 26 years ago through the teachings of Mary Burmeister, Japanese-American woman who brought it to North America in the 1960s, and really it's been 26 years of discovering more about my own uh, relationship with myself and how I might be able to support others to harmonize um, along the way. So we're going to look at right away about building a deeper connection with my heart center, uh, opening connection with compassion. So starting by holding the little finger, we're connecting with the heart function energy, supporting circulation throughout the whole body, exhaling always, dropping the shoulders, feeling the harmony within. Where does it feel good in the body and allowing our attention to focus on those functioning, harmonious, balanced places within our bodies. Bringing that energy down the front. And as we do so, everything that was there is then drained away. We're allowing that energy to descend from about the middle of the chest. It's already come through from above. It's drained through the face. And the exhale, we descend. And as we're bringing that life force energy down and through, we're allowing whatever was to drain away. Exhale, letting go. Can switch to the other side, the other little finger, supporting heart function energy. If you have any heart challenges, little finger is excellent. If somebody's having a heart attack, squeeze that little finger as hard as you can, um, and it just might help. That's what I understand. Exhale, opening the heart center, assisting with circulation of all things within the body, opening compassion. Exhale. Heart deals with the fifth depth of the body, letting go of that feeling of needing to push, to make things happen, let it go. Alternately, on the back of the wrist, as you come down from the little finger, there's a nodule there. And just off the nodule is the 17. So you'd be holding, you know, there's the nodule. Just go off the nodule. One, two, three. Exhale. And this point here supports heart function energy as well. You could do this in combination with the little finger. one side or the other, or both. And I have a bit of pressure in here. I'm just noticing it's a bit tender, so I'm going to 
either release the tension or maintain the tension, but just allow yourself to feel comfortable. And it's not tension, it's pressure. Exhale. The only thing that's necessary is a relaxation, dropping the shoulders. You could be laying down or sitting up. Once we've opened that place of compassion, I now want to more carefully focus on letting go of that feeling of frustration, supporting the liver function energy, the blood layer of the body. And so there's lots of ways to do that, but today we're going to go into the palm right here, base of the thumb into the 18, exhale. Supporting the liver, the blood layer of the body, the builder of chi, releasing the emotion of anger. You can hold each of these points in your energy safety locks as long as you like. Just for ease of the video, I'm going to move on um, to the other side. You can use your intention on one side or both sides, it doesn't matter which. And you may maintain your position for as long as you feel comfortable. Ideally, we're looking for uh, communication between the fingertips and the energy safety lock. It would come in the form of a pulse. It feels really similar to a blood pulse, but if you're not able to feel it, that's totally fine. Just exhale. Six conscious breaths is a really good start. Dropping the shoulders. Allowing the descending energy to rebuild as you Bring down that life force energy. There's a draw up and over the head. It's constantly rebuilding, constantly regenerating each breath over and over. Exhale, down the flat. The inhale is unconscious. It's our gift. It's the connection we have with divine that just continues to renew and restore and reconnect over and over and over again. And as we exhale, we utilize that stored energy and run it down the front of the body. And as we do, all that was drains out. Exhale. That liver function energy also assists us to transform breath into usable oxygen liquefied energetic function. I mean, that's really what it says, a liquefied oxygen function. And that allows us to move that breath into something that's usable in the 12 organs energetically. Releasing anger. We're going to move on to support the next depth of the body, and that's the kidney, which is the third um, step along the way, but it's the fourth depth. So we're looking at releasing fear. We're going to go into the four at the base of the skull, and we're going to not apply a lot of pressure, but if it's the right hand, it'd be on the right side, top of the neck, base of the skull. Exhale, relax. And this left hand is going to go under, palm down, under my tailbone, just gently sitting on my hand. Exhale. And you could reverse it, could be left hand on the base of the skull. 
And this assists us to dissolve and support. We're dissolving fear. We're supporting the muscle layer of the body. We're empowering the kidney function energy. By doing this, we're supporting the release of the anger that we work through, holding the liver points. And we're fully supporting the relaxation within the body at the muscle layer, dissolving fear, exhale. Switch sides, take my left hand to the base of the skull, sitting on my hand, palm down under the tailbone, exhale. And the kidney function energy also assists us in taking the food we eat and transforming the food we eat into usable energy function. Allows us to move that nourishment into supportive, harmonizing energy that feeds and nourishes the 12 organ functions of the body. Releasing fear, exhale, down the front. Another way to support the kidney is to go into the groin, and we've talked about that point before. So if you go, uh, you know, the mound of the thumb on the hip bone and just drop into that front part of the groin, rest your hand there without need for there to be pressure, just connection. And then take your opposite hand and go on that top of the shoulder, exhale. That groin supports also the kidney function as well as harmonizing the body for joy and laughter to be abundant and available. And this connection between the shoulder and the 15 there in the groin is something we talked about in the past and it's umbilicus function energy support. Connecting us with our essential self or spirit self, the places from which we've originated. Exhaling tension, dissolving muscular tension in the back, all things associated with back tension, exhaling. Dropping the shoulders, feeling the joy that emerges the more time we spend committed to self-care, loving, nurturing, self-awareness, exhale. I'm going to switch sides, this hand on the hip bone, drop down into that front part of the groin, and now this hand on that same side, into the top of the shoulder, exhale. Another very powerful function of the umbilicus function energy is to assist in the harmonizing of the intermingling of the liquefied oxygen and liquefied grain energies within the body, assisting the organ functions to receive in the most optimal way, allowing those organ function energies to have the most benefit from the air we breathe and the nourishing food we consume. Exhale. Nourished, restored, revitalized, replenished. This also brings 
empowerment as we harmonize to our creative self. As we recreate, re-represent. Re-establish, realign. Rejoice. Thank you for joining me. I feel better. I think I'm going to be a better home-based learning support person. <laughs> I hope so. Blessed be. Good luck, guys. It's a wild world out there.